You can't physically unite the island and have nearly a million unionists up the road joining this country without changing some furniture to make those people feel welcome. I think you could probably start with not saying an ooh uh, up the ran, the changing rooms maybe. <laughs> it's like... Oh, that's so harmless, that's harmless. I, look, I know it is, I know it is, but you know what, what's funny about it is, is that if you were asked to rejoin the Commonwealth and you saw the Northern Ireland ladies team up there singing they're up to their neck in Fenian blood and singing the sash, you'd sit there and think to yourself, geez, I'm not sure about that. What I, what I always say is it's, it's a lot easier to sing a rebel song about a united Ireland than not sing it to have it. Like Unionists don't need to convince anybody down here to join the UK. If there's going to be a border poll, the way that's going to work is someone's going to have to try to convince Unionist people that their future is here. The idea of, you know, 